we equate our spirituality too often to the high points that exist in our journey. Many times, whether it's youth or even adults, we we go on a retreat and we have this great moment. And I remember as a student growing up, we'd go to a camp and it was fantastic and have this great mountaintop spiritual experience where the speaker was great and he got everybody except for unemotional Matt to cry on the last night and everybody was was giving up and throwing their CDs on the fire and, and everybody was worked up to this frenzy. But then you get outside of that emotional mountaintop spiritual high and then you find the valley again and you're there and you go and you go until the next one. Even as adults we find ourselves there, right? We have a great men's retreat or we have one Sunday or whatever it is riding these mountaintops and that is the exact opposite of what Paul's saying here. He's saying, no, no, I need you to find consistency I need you to find consistency. A consistent spiritual fire is required to melt the inevitable opposition ahead. Paul is telling him, hey, listen, I've been there. I've walked the journey. I've navigated the path. The highs, they aren't going to do it for you. You're going to see obstacles. And in order to, to navigate those obstacles, you need to continuously have the spiritual fire that is burning. Burning. 